Moving on. Namaskar Om Kapoor Gauram Karunavataram Sansar Saram Bhujgendraharam Sadava Santam Hiridyar Vinde Bhavam Bhavani Sahetam Namami Bhavam Bhavani Sahetam Namami Bole Shiv Shankar Bole Nath Ki Jai Aap Sab Ko Makar Sakranti Ki Mangal Kaam Nai Aayye Sida Vaitiye Take a long breath from the nostril, chanting the word Om three times from the mouth. Oh. Oh. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tassavitul Vareniyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimai Dio Yona Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tassavitul Vareniyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimai Dio Yonam Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tassavitul Vareniyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimai Dio Yonam Prachodaya Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Paishantu Makashtita Dukha Bhagbhave Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let's all pray to Almighty for the wellness of whole universe. Everybody should be healthy, wealthy, enjoy prosperity. Nobody should suffer from any ailment whether that is physical, mental, spiritual, social, emotional, or financial. With these good thoughts, we will start our session of yoga, keeping in mind all the precautions. This is very important. Do as much your body allows you. Follow your own body. Hypertensive heart problems, severe acidity, severe asthma, severe backache, even osteoporosis. You have to be very, very careful. There are certain poses you can't do with osteoporosis, like forward bending, you know, because the bones are so fragile that they break with a very minimum movement even. So these are very, very important points. Plus, you know, when we do any session, we look at the participants who are sitting in front of us. So you do your session according to that, but 
in our session, we are not getting young ones. Even when we are doing in the centers, only my age group or maybe slightly younger to me, they are coming to the classes and they are doing so well. So we are overprotective sort of. Because some people don't do anything. And when they start coming, they're very hesitant to start even. So slowly and slowly we work up with them. Very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. They increase their stamina and then we can do far more. But you people are doing very well. I am watching you all the time. Very good. You are so punctual. And you are doing when you are coming. You are not just sitting and seeing the <laughs> thing going on. You are doing with us all the time, which is a very good sign that you are enjoying yourself. You are getting the benefits. Okay. Now, I, I want to ask you, do you want me to focus on the pranayama or exercises? Especially the pranayama yesterday, with due respect to everyone, we can go into more detail because right. technique should be right. Otherwise, no. Pranayam, please. So I open up for you people. You can tell me what you want. I, of course, I will start with the warming up exercises, which is important to open up our channels so that when we do pranayam, enough oxygen is going. It would be nice Whatever to you have... want because uh, as I requested that I have to go committed somewhere else. So let me know. Let's start with the exercises. Very, very gentle exercise we are going to do because we are going to warm up. Now warm up, why we do warm up? Anybody? Why we do warm up? And then say do some asan or poses before doing pranayam. In warming up is the idea, you are making your joints and the muscles active, active so that you don't have any injury when you start doing your other poses. That's the base. And for the pranayam, we say, do exercises or some asan before doing pranayam because you make your body to sit down in one position for a long time. That's why we do some exercises before pranayam to sit down. Asan, so many asans we are doing. Sitting on the chair, lying down in the bed, <laughs> lying down in the bed even. And then on the mat you are sitting in anyone, cross legs, padam asan, ha padam asan, then bajar asan. So they are, they are known as also asan. And other asans are when we do this manduka asan. Shashak asan, Markat asan, they are also asan. So they are, asan means two things. Sitting state for a long time and doing some asan like, as I said, those asans. So let's start now warming up. Very simple for a senior. We are all senior, experienced people in life. Very easy. And go on breathing from the nostril. We are starting our pranayam. Long deep breath from the nostril. The beginning you do for two and a half seconds in and out. As we are increasing our practice, we can do even four seconds, five seconds, seven seconds. The longer you take it, get the benefits. Instant benefit, instant. Very good. Very simple. Then like this. Very good. Follow your own body. In the morning, we are very stiff. Very stiff in the morning. And there are so many ways we activate ourselves. As we covered some of the steps yesterday, there's so many techniques which you can do to activate. Now go up more. Stretch. Give a nice stretch. Then down. One. 
stretch down stretch 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 very good you are doing very well now we are going on the side now very gentle Go on breathing, breathing in known as poor work, and breathing out is your rechak. Breathing in poor work, breathing out rechak. Now we are doing rope jumping. They are all going to keep my nitric oxide, which I need to get rid of my high blood pressure, my heart problem, for my digestive system, even for my brain, nitric oxide is required. So sitting down, we are jumping the ropes and giving nice exercise on your wrist, your fingers, carry on. Carry on. Come on. Now, next one sitting, we can do some exercise of our nitric oxide. Breathe in and breathe out at your own pace. Slow, medium. Later on, will be fast. While sitting down, you are doing it. Very, very important, these exercises. Then up and down while sitting. Very good. Very good. Now you can do your squatting also. No problem. You can do squatting also. Sitting also and now you can stand up because we want to do more exercises. First, just marching yourself. What is happening? You're activating all the ligament muscles and bones of your lower limb. Plus, when you are putting your feet on the ground hard, you are doing your acupressure. All the organs are there as they are on the palm. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other one which is very important, watch your balance. Otherwise, you can get to the back of the chair. We are doing again our nitric oxide. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rope. Your dancing, your jumping is going to increase your nitric oxide. Come on. Come on. Forward and backward. Now. That's enough because time is very limited. So the next one is our feet. Sitting down on the chair. Very, very important. See? Do like this. Go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now lift up your, try to wriggle your toes. We always ignore our toes. Wriggle them nicely. Even when we do the oiling or putting cream on the feet, we should put them in every toe nicely, massaging. Very good. Now feet is going up and down. Coming up, breathing. Going down, breathe out. Pranayam is our Adhar base. Pran, Pran Shakti. What is Pran? Pran is my medicine. Pran is my guru. Pran is my mata, my pitta, my bandhu, my sakha. Rotate now. Pran is Brahm. Pran is everything. Pran Shakti. And this part, Pran is controlled by the Pran Nath, the God, the supreme power, clockwise, anti clockwise. Then you can bend it like this, very good for a knee joint. On the heel, going on the forefoot. Very good for the knee joint. We are all suffering from knee problem. Arthritis of the knee. But there one very common problem, knee problem. Or we are suffering from plantar fasciitis, which we are covered. So these things help us. Other thing is you can roll your feet on a ball, you know. That also helps you for your knee. Very good. Just imagine, sorry, there's no ball here. <laughs> I changed my place. <laughs> so there we are. The next one is make it more active yourself. Take one leg out. Bring it back, other one out, as far you can go. But if you're not very active, flexible, then best thing is, as I say, variation is a must. Then take it like this, little bit away. Then come back, same thing. I am a beginner, I've got a lot of problem. So I am very gentle to myself. Take little distance, you know. And then I'm getting on better. Take it out, right out. So a good stretch on your, these muscles, these big muscles of the thigh. And get rid of extra fat arms. Take it out, take it out, take it out. And then if you pull it up, you get a lot of pressure on your calf muscles. So get rid of any pain. For the varicose veins, this is very good. And for the lymphatic system, because the pump is in the calf muscle, one of the pump for the lymphatic. So bring it down, pull it out. You can do both together. Get hold of the back of the chair and spread. See, all the tension go from here. Normally, inner part of the thighs are getting a lot of problem. Very good. You can do so many exercises. Okay, now standing on the back of the chair, we can do so many exercises to get better with our hips and the knee joint. Yes, hold your chair at the back. Keep your spine straight. Take the right foot in front. Yes, other one behind. Comfortably the distance. Try to bend your right knee and go down. See so much stretch is coming on the calf muscles of your left leg. Get rid of any pain. Hold like this, and good for the knee joint. 
go down as far you can go and stay for a short time. Then come up slowly, reverse, left foot is coming front, yes. And the right leg is behind. Both the feet are on the ground. Both the feet are on the ground, only I'm bending my left knee. Both the feet are on the ground. Then breathe in and come up. Now again, right leg in front. Here we are going to bend both the knees. So heel of the other foot will come up. Give a good distance. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, and you are on your forefoot of your left leg, left foot, yes? See, bend it, the left one also. That's a lot of stretch. Now, these stretching exercises are very important to increase our bone mass even, not to get osteopenia, osteoporosis. Good for my knees, my calf muscle, my lymphatic system, and the circulation. The venous blood will go back to get purified through our heart and then into lungs. Then the reverse, the left foot is in front, right foot is behind, good gap, then bend your both knees, see? And stay there for short time, 10 seconds. In the beginning, maybe three seconds, five seconds. Then come up, slowly, well done. Now you do your sketching all the time when we do our nitric oxide. To get the help of the chair, it's so easy to do it. Squat now, see, hips are coming out. Don't do any squatting if you have got varicose veins. Keep in mind this. If you're suffering from that blue vein, big, big one on your legs, don't do scatting. That can worsen your veins. So you can come up slowly. Again, breathe out and go down. You can go more down. Touch the sitting part of your chair. See how much you are down. And when the balance is good, you can remove your hand. Setting is very important. So many benefits. Then come up slowly, very slowly. Well done. I think we have done good warm up, upper part and the lower part of the body. Next. We will do, uh, I will concentrate. I will start with the Bhadrika and then Kapal Bharti. Then I'm going to go to Bahari Pranayam and Ujjayi. Okay. Everybody's ready? Yes. Yes. Is it okay? Enough warming up we have done. There's no limit. You can carry on. But again, we have spent more than 25 minutes, which is more than enough. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out because the heart rate is gone up, respiratory also up. So we have to balance that, bring it back to the normal. Then start the Badrika Pranayam. <coughs> Go on chanting inside. Jai bhole, jai bhole, jai bhole. Teri apar kripa ham sab par. <clears throat> Take a long deep breath from the mouth, uh, nostril and exhale from the mouth. 
breathe in from nostril, exhale from mouth, that pulls us very fast. Okay, let's sit straight. Keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind. Man sahaj aankhe band. Dhyan mudda mein baat ke lamba gara saans lenge naak se aur naak se chhodenge. Depending upon your capabilities, you can do more than 2.5 seconds. Do 4 seconds, 5 seconds. The longer you take, the more benefits will come because you're increasing the oxygen level in the body, which is going to every cell of the body. That is taken away by your bloodstream, by the red blood cells. Oxygen is carried by them and going to the cell. And in the cell, there is mitochondria nucleus. Over there is a lot of sugar that will burn the sugar and produce the energy. That's how we are getting on warmer, warmer, more happy. That's the physiology about it. So simple. Increase your energy by burning the sugar in the cell by our oxygen. Go on chanting inside, any name, any dun, any shabad, whatever you do your prayers at home. Today is Monday, Somvar, Lord Shiva's day. So go on chanting, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Oh, Namah Shiva. Oh, Namah Shiva. Oh, Namah Shiva. Oh. Namah Shiva. Ray your arms up, rub your palm fifteen to twenty times to generate heat. Simple physics phenomenon. Rubbing produce heat. Put the palm on your eyes. Feel the warmth going on your face, especially on the eyes, which is going to help me to get rid of all the problems of my eye. Watery eye, discharge eye, painful eye, cataract glaucoma. Once the temperature is back to the normal, the face temperature of the hand, open your eyes slowly and remove the hand. Give a nice massage on the face at the lower eyelids. 
We got a lot of black patches there. And maybe it's a bit puffiness there. Then the lateral angle. The eyebrows. All increasing the circulation in the eye muscles. Gently you can do your medial right. angle also and bring it down. Nasolacrimal duct is there, that will open up. Many people suffer from, there's no duct, that is a congenital problem. Again, genes problem. Over there it will be helped, but in our case we have got that. We experience the tears coming. through our nose, you know. But those people, they get tears still st standing in the eyes, you know, if there's a blockage of that duct, nasolacrimal duct. Now the temporal region, this is very important. There is a big nerve in the vessel known as trigeminal. When that gets inflamed, you got a lot of problem because that now covers the whole face. So try to do this all the time. Then your forehead, the frontal sinuses are there. So many sinuses on the face. Very good. Over the head. Then like this, one finger front, one behind. Activating the lymphatic system also. Then the ears, pull it up, because there's so many acupressure points there. The middle part, the lower part. Have you ever noticed if somebody is loving you, but they do, they do this lower part like this. Especially the children, they do their mother, you know. I have seen this. They activate happiness. Then you can do the whole year inside, outside. So many glands there and occupation points. On the ear, God is great. Small area and so many things. Then come to your throat area, not to get sore throat. Many are getting cup and cold in this weather, down to your thyroid gland and slightly behind parathyroid gland. Then come to the thymus, which is more important, my anxiety. And bereavement, shock. Jab shok glust hotte hai, to isko press karte hai. Plus, it is going to increase my immunity to fight against any virus, bacteria, or fungus. Nicely. Then you can do rest the body wherever you have got problem. You can give nice massage. Okay, the second step is known as Kapal Bhati. Yes. Again, two words, Kapal and Bharti, meaning Bharti mean glow. Okay, we all know that. And here our main attention is on exhaling. Automatically we are breathing in. We do one stroke, one second. And keeping in mind all the precautions, hypertensive heart problems, severe acidity, severe asthma, severe backache, they do it slowly. Rest can do at medium speed. Don't do fast on the Zoom especially. Otherwise also there is some drawbacks, you know, if you do fast, you won't be able to do for long time. Our target is coming one minute soon. You won't be able to do it, plus you will get some backache. So that, and you get doing no much, so much breathing, you know. So there will be more problem with the carbon dioxide also. 
So please don't do fast. Do slow speed or medium speed. We do with all these mudras to make our pran goes to the area where we need the treatment or help. And then if you're suffering from headache, severe headache, don't do it. And if you had any major surgery, four to six months, even after minor surgery, you consult your yoga teacher, which one to do it, how long to do it. Pregnant or trying to get pregnant, don't do it. If you are menstruating, don't do it. Or bleeding from any part of your body, don't do it. So these are the very, very important precautions. So we will be doing, starting with our Udan Mudra. First, the tips are you're touching with the thumb. Put it on your shoulder. And you can do your exercise also while doing Kapal Bharti. Now this is going to activate my nerves of the neck and activate my thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, vocal cord even. So, Kapal Bharti Udan Mudra. Give a good smile on the face. So many benefits. Detoxification, as the name says. Kapal. Bharti. Going to give me a good glow on my face. Activate my thyroid gland, parathyroid gland. Good for my asthma even. People were very much concerned about asthma. Whether to do it or not to do it. But this is well proved now for asthma also you're getting better. So what to talk about is bronchitis, pneumonia, and bronchiectasis. They are getting better. Even Swamiji says, Namaskar Swamiji. TB is getting better. TB is getting better. Kapal Bhatiya Lom Vilom. Good for my heart. And the major effect is on the abdominal organs, the pancreas, not to get diabetes, whether that is type one or type two. And the liver is getting activated because we are giving so much exercise to those organs, not to get fatty liver, cirrhosis of liver, hepatitis, and cancer of liver. The gallbladder is getting activated. So we get enough bile and not to get stones in the gallbladder. This is all preventive. We are not suffering, but we are doing not to get it. Primary prevention, yoga is primary prevention. Secondary prevention, once we have got disease and we are doing, then it comes curative. It's giving to give us cure. Permanent care as the same because this improve my system, not the symptoms only. Going to the root cause of my problem. Well done. Spleen is getting activated. Whole digestive system is activated. The large intestine, small intestine, stomach, duodenum, duodenum, and the effect is going up to the rectum. And the anus, people are getting better with their files problem, hemorrhoids, baba seed, anal pressure, anal tag. Very good, carry on. Take your mind to the problem you are suffering. Thyroid problem, just concentrate on the thyroid. Dhyan Purva Kyog. Madhyam Shakti Madhyam Gati. No fast. Okay, the next one we'll do is a Pran Mudra. The strongest mudra is Pran Mudra. Tip of your ring finger and the little finger touched by the tip of the thumb. Kapal Bharti. This is going to increase my vision also. We are all getting cataract. All glaucoma. 
the one point for kapal if you are suffering from severe glaucoma please don't do it kapal bharti same thing goes for the hyperacidity depending upon the severity if it is a mild type glaucoma or hyperacidity you get better so please keep these points in mind many people are suffering from glaucoma i know that which runs in the family so be careful go for the test from the ophthalmologist to get checked for the pressure of your eyes next do your shakti mudra i am going to watch you today shakti mudra anybody shakti mudra durga mudra yeah you are reaching there bhanu ban yeah anybody else <laughs> okay i'll show you again come on everybody aha you have done it you have done it uh this is lena lena has done it who else has done it shakti mudra durga mata ki jai chaliye shakti mudra well done lena lena okay thumb is under your first two fingers the index in the middle finger yes touch your ring finger and the little finger at the tips this is durga mudra shakti mudra we all need shakti shakti do kapal bharti with shakti mudra once again thumb in at the palm do first finger coming down over the thumb touch your ring finger and the little finger and go on chanting jay jay ambe jay jagadambe jay jay ambe jay jagadambe everybody jay jay ambe hamara ye hota hai kirtan yoga kirtan yoga जो दिन हो जैसा दिन हो कीर्तन करना है का क्या भरोसा कमर एवरीबॉडी जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे जय जय अम्बे जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे वेन यू आर डूइंग लाउड सिंगिंग यू आर डूइंग योर प्राणायाम इजीएस्ट वे जोर से गाओ जोर से चैंटिंग करो एक्सरसाइज भी होती है बिकॉज लंग्स आर एक्सपेंडिंग हार्ट इज गेटिंग एक्सरसाइज दैट्स व्हाट वी वांट टू गेट इट ऑफ पेल्पिटेशन धड़कन 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 उसको दूर करना है ना धड़कन को जोर से गाने से भजन अच्छे भजन अच्छे श्लोक अच्छी प्रार्थना करने से सब ठीक हो जाते हैं जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम सो इजी सो इजी ओके नेक्स्ट नॉन इज यू वॉन्ट मोर पावर इन योर बॉडी बिना फायर के कुछ नहीं होगा सूर्य भगवान हमें इतनी शक्ति देते हैं जब वो नहीं आते मन उदास हो जाता है कुछ करने को दे करता जो अंदर की अग्नि है उसको पैदा करना है आप और प्राणायाम से होता है एक्सरसाइज से होती है अंदर की अग्नि तो दे इज वन मुद्रा नोन एज अग्नि मुद्रा वेरी इजी टच योर थम लाइक दिस रेस्ट ऑफ फिंगर्स आर बेंडिंग 
Take away all your anxiety, give you more power. Agni Udra, take away my anxiety, depression, dementia, activating my memory, concentration, and giving me more tolerance. Agni Mudra, Kapal Bharti with Agni Mudra. Give a good smile. Well done. Other mudra, which we should be doing more, you know, shunya mudra. At this age, most of us getting loss of hearing. Whether we admit or we don't admit, that is different. So many fights are going in the house. One is putting the television on sound, one is putting them down. So, Shunya Mudra, touching the base of the thumb with the middle finger, and the thumb is going over the middle finger. Shunya Mudra, for the hearing problems, tinnitus, vertigo, and dizziness. Yeah, Akash, Akash, this is the Akash. Do Kapal Bharti with Shunya Mudra. By doing this all, we can even repair our perforated drum, ear drum, you know. Any ear problem. Many times we get dizziness for Taigo because of the ear problem. That is one of the cause. We call it vestibular problems. There are so many other causes also for dizziness. Okay, friends, I'm just going to move over to Nava Bahari Pranayam. This pranayama is very, very effective. This is much stronger than Kapal Bharti. There's no doubt about it. But it, again, the precautions are there, as we said before. Especially if you've got heart problem, hypertension, any major operation, or you're very weak, don't do it. So we do it. We do. I do it. Vayu mudra, because. Vata problem is very common at this age. We are suffering from arthritis and indigestion because lack of our fire in the stomach. Jatha Ragni is going down as we are growing up. So Jatha Ragni will activate. That's why do this mudra. This one and Apan Vayu Mudra is most important at this age. Okay, so Vayu Mudra. Sit state, just relax your body and the mind. Take a long deep breath to the nostril. Then exhale fully from the nostril. Then you are doing the first lock known as root lock, mulban. Just squeezing your muscles, they are sitting bone muscles. Example is going, want to go to toilet, the phone is ringing. We squeeze ourselves down below. Yes, squeeze that. And then Udan band is come when you exhaled already. Make your muscles very tight of the abdomen, Udyan band. And then if there's no neck problem, bring your chin close to the chest. Just bring it down. Don't have to bend too much. Just bring the chin down to the chest. 
Now this one is known as neck lock, Jalandar band. Yes, this is your Udyan band, and the rest one is Mool band. So these three bands are very very important. Every has got their benefits point. Jalandar band, you can see, you are doing sort of your neck exercise. You are activating your thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, vocal cord getting rid of extra fat from your neck also. And you are activating your throat chakra, Vishuddhi chakra. You are activating that also, which control my speech and my, uh, they say, confidence also. Confidence also. Speech and confidence also come with that. And the third one is this one. Now, this is activating all the internal organs. As I mentioned, they are all there. And this one is down below. This is the one which is going to make my urinary system and the fecal system and reproductive system better because all organs are down there. They are sitting on a muscle known as levator muscle. All the organs are sitting there. So when I squeezing that, I'm activating all my reproductive system. And if there's any prolapse, either from my reproductive system, like uterus is coming down, cervix is coming down, they will pull it up for prolapse. And the same thing if you have got prolapse of your rectum or your anus, that will pull it up. And the third thing, if bladder, bladder prolapse also occur. So that is going to lift everything up. So this is good for prolapse. This is good to activate my sphincters, which open up to past urine or fecal matter, going to activate them, all those ligaments and sphincters there, so that I get better with my fecal or urinary incontinence. Because this is a major problem of this age. Fecal incontinence, don't talk, you know. You know, in, we have all got stress incontinence, urgency, we can't control. We are roaming around the whole day out in the markets, you know. When we come home, as we open the door, the key is there and we leak. Urine comes down. So there's no control. And there are so many reasons, other reasons also for that. So this Bhairi Pranayam is very, very important. Everybody should practice this. And it's very simple. It comes with practice. So we will do only once. <laughs> okay. Sit state. Relax your body and the mind. Hands are in. Vayu mudra. Breathe in. Breathe out fully. First lock has come. Basal lock. Mool one. Udyan band more strong. Bring your chin close to the chest. Here you're holding your breath. That's why I say it's not suitable for everyone. Suffering from breathlessness, heart problem, you're not supposed to do it. Don't hold your breath. You can't do this one. Bari pranayam is not suitable. If there's no problem, yes, you're holding your breath. How long to hold depends on the practice. Do it comfortably. Can't hold any more. Then remove the first lock. Make your chin straight. Release the second one with the arm one. Then the mool bond. So we done reverse order. Okay. Because we want to give more time to our third lock. Because third lock is going to help me not to get urinary problems also. That's why I'm spending more time. And this can be done without doing other procedure like breathing in, breathing out. Just you are sitting down, just hold the thing. The muscle below the navel, hold the muscle. While you are talking, I am doing it while I'm talking. While lying down, while standing, while watching television, having conversation with a friend, you can do it. The longer you do it, you get better with that incontinence and the urinary problems. So this is very, very important, you know. Yes, okay, everybody, fine. 
very good A any doubt any question here very simple very simple but again don't worry when we started the classes i will tell you we didn't do it for maybe first three to six months no we took our time because this is done under observation it should be done under observation but you people are doing very well on the zoom which is a nice thing very nice thing okay now the next one i thought i will just touch <laughs> Time is flying, isn't it? As promised, Ujjayi Pranayama. Ujjayi. This is a very, very important pranayama for the people suffering from sleep apnea and speech defects also, stammering. And third thing which is very important for us is this pranayama is a single pranayama also. You're going to perform your function, you're going to sing. If you do this four to five times before you start singing, that makes a lot of difference in your voice. Other thing is very good for heart and lungs. This is anti-aging, anti-wrinkling, opening up all the sinuses, good for the eyes, ear, nose. Thyroid gland, that is very, very important pranayama for the thyroid, parathyroid gland for the vocal cords. And this increases your metabolism, so you lose weight also. So try to do this every time if you want to lose weight, because the problem is in the thyroid gland, which is underactive. So make it balance of your thyroid gland. Then the calcium metabolism, which is not right, so parathyroid gland will control that. And this say, this lower your temperature also. It works like Panadol. So, so many benefits of Ujjayi. Again, hands are in Vayu Mudra. Keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind. And if you feel there is some flim in your throat, you can come. But as I've been talking for a long time, it should be clear by now. So, squeeze your neck muscles. Ida, squeeze your vocal cords. The whole sound will be coming from here, from the vocal cords, not from the upper nasal passage. Okay? So breathe in. When you breathe in, the sound will be like a snoring sound, though it is anti-snoring. Mm. Snoring sound, go on breathing. In the beginning, we do short, short. Then we can do long one. But don't do too much, otherwise you will get hoarseness of voice. So breathe in, the sound will produce snoring sound and you bring your chin close to the chest if there's no neck problem. Here you're holding your breath. How long to hold depends upon your practice. Can't hold anymore. Lift your chin up. Close your right nostril with the right thumb. Exhale from the left. This is Ujjayi. So we will do it. <clears throat> Shravanji, uh, please, can you take it over now? I have to get ready and go. And, uh, and it's the best time we'll start with Mandu Kasan with Shravanji because okay. he explained us so nicely. Thank so you. we can start with Asan, Mandu Kasan. Thank, thank you very much, everybody. Sorry, thank I thank have you. to go. No, thank you. Have a lovely day. Om Shanti, 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 Shanti. Once again, thank you very much for asking me to do this seva. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say we'll start with the Mandukasana to improve your digestive system. It's very important, not just for pancreas, 
you energize your liver, gallbladder, your spleen, your stomach, your large and small intestine, your kidney, and adrenal gland. Everything is exercise just with this exercise. Let me highlight myself, sorry. So this exercise is a complete exercise to improve the digestive system. So what you do is you sit in Bajrasan or Thunderbolt pose. That's the best way to sit after the meal because your calf muscle is connected to your stomach. Just by sitting in Bajrasan after the meal helps you digest the process. If you feel bloated, bloating will go away as well. It's very important. But you can sit in any asan, Sukhasan, Padmasan, or sit in the chair the way I'm doing it. No problem. It's all about working on you. So make a tight press. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Put the fist on your belly button. That's where the pantia is. And you go down all the way down to the floor, pressing your head, go ahead on the floor if you can. And then look up. That puts the extra pressure on your pantia. And do Kapal Bharati for 40 times. And keep thinking that you're producing more insulin. What your mind thinks, body delivers. If you smile, you get double the benefit. Muskurati right here. And gently come back up. Excellent. So you can do a breakfast for me then. Let me make a paste again. Be that completely. And you go down. And look up. Listen to body, do it nice and gently. Very good exercise, this is. And gently come back up. Next, we're going to exercise your liver and your spleen. Liver is on the right side and the gallbladder. Left side is your spleen. Make a tight fist again. Breathe in. Breathe out completely. Put the right hand your liver in, left and spleen, and you go down. And look up. And come back up. People who have fatty liver or the immune system is low, the winter, we want to increase your immunity. So this exercise you can do a few times throughout the day. It will help you to improve that. Once more. Go down and look up and kapal bhati for 40 times. And gently come back up. Next, every time you eat food, go in your stomach. After digestive, the food goes out, but some gas still remains in your stomach. So this will be able to remove any gas in line in the stomach. So when you start the eating process, it gives you maximum digestive power. So this is done, all these exercises done half an hour before the meal time. Begin breathing, breathe out, your left hand over right hand in the stomach, and you go down. And look up. And 
and gently come back. Once more. All these are very simple exercises, nice and gentle. Maximum benefit to improve your digestive system. And then they come back. Yes, you just stop in the stomach like this. Next is your kidney. If you follow your belly button all the way to the back with the kidney and above the kidney, your adrenal gland. Make a tight face and tap it for today. Excellent. You shake your hand up. Next, you take your stretch your both leg in the front. Take your right leg over the left leg. And bring your right hand close to your body. Left hand comes up like this. You're twisting yourself towards the left side. So you're twisting your spine. Plus you're exercising all the organs on the left side. Your heart, your lung, bit of a half of the bit of a pancreas, your left kidney, is spleen, and so on. In Glasgow, the weather is cold, but lovely, nice and sun come out. Gently unwind yourself, take your leg apart, okay? just shake them up if you feel good. And then take your left leg over the right leg now. Left hand close to your body, right hand comes up across like that. Twisting yourself towards the left side. So you're exercising all the organs on the right side. Your right lung, your liver, gallbladder, Bit of a pancreas, just your right kidney, adrenal gland as well. Gently unwind yourself. Excellent. Next is not the least, just before the meal time, if you take your hand on like this, if you look at your right hand, when you put the forefinger in the palm of your hand tight and put the thumb on the top, what's happening is your little finger press the liver, your index ring finger, your pancreas, your middle finger, kidney, and your index finger, adrenal gland. Just by doing this, we're exercising all those organs on the right face of the body. Next, if you go look at the left hand, your little finger, your heart, pancreas, kidney, adrenal gland. So this is very good. Just before 20 times, you put your five tight fists and hold there for a second.
excellent. And to improve the digestive system, there's three kinds of food. One is every food requires energy to digest. Once it's digested, it produces a certain amount of energy. Some food requires more energy to digest and produce very little energy. That's called negative energy. Some food, some food produces, requires energy, but doesn't produce anything. This is zero. And some produce, requires very little energy to digest and they give maximum energy. They are the positive energy. So if you eat more positive value of food, you will get easier digested, food will digest quicker and give you maximum energy to your body. Does that make sense? So what are the positive value foods? Everything green, wholesome, where there is no processing takes place. Fresh from the tree, apple, oranges, avocado, fig, all the nuts, everything kind of digests very quickly and gives you the maximum energy and try to eat less processed food, which gives you, requires maximum energy and very little energy afterwards. So they're negative value food. So really you have to look at all those things. That's also a digestive process. And to improve health, other thing is very important is when you eat food, you produce waste product. You have to get it off it as quickly as possible. People who had good stomach, digestive power, they go to bathroom once a day, every morning, and they clear the whole bowel easily. What you have to do, soak methi nighttime in water. Get, when you get up in the morning, also two, two glasses of water to drink, live warm very quickly, and do certain exercise. What I like to do, I'll explain to you, when you, before you get up your bed, Rub your hands together and cover your face. Your body is in passive state, you have to make you active. Next, you do it, you stretch your leg and do the power mutasan because every time when you're sleeping, body is trying to get your toxins, negative fight infection. So there might be a lot of gases produced in your stomach. Quickly, once you get to the gases, that will help to have a less constipation. So all you have to, like a form of that and bend your right leg, breathing in, when you, and then breathe out. Lying on bed, you do that. And do the same thing with opposite leg. You do that twice. And then you do the both legs together. It's in the chest, but difficult, but you can have a issue. I'll just show you how that works. So like the bed, you do that. That releases any gas in your stomach comes out and creates a bit of feeling. Then when you get up in the bed, you sit down for a few seconds, 30 seconds before you do anything. Because blood needs to go back to your brain. If you get up too quickly, you might fall and you, hurt, you can break your bones and all that. You stand, sit on the side of the bed, and then you take two glasses of water from the jug and drink it very quickly. So far, so good. And then what you have to do is, then what I do is standing up, do the parasa, you hand on the head, and go all the way up, stretch, and hold them for 10 to 20 seconds. If you look forward, you won't fall. And come down. Once more. You have to do that eight times. Next, next is the leg slightly apart. 
and I can there and just stretching on the side, see, it's the exercising your intestine, breathing and then be faster. Excellent. Next is also put your hand forward, you breathe in, you go up. Other one will also help to get the ball movement is cross touching your feet. Excellent. Once I've done that, also I said to your calf muscle is connected to your stomach. So I usually put my feet on the windowsill and press my hand and press it like that. Calf muscle. That's when this self will have to get the ball movement faster. So that can go to it. Once you've done that, you go and sit in your commode. You see I'm doing that. Again, sitting in, you're feeling, you're, you're getting ready to explode, but still the pressure is not there. You have to do another sitting down at 26,000. Set again that you feel that you make the fishes go to the bottom and put the pressure on your bowel movement. Then put your hand in the front, put your hand behind the fish line. Hold every few seconds there and come back, breathing in. All that good with it, put your hand like this in your stomach, tight. You go down and look up and do kapalva, three foot, four feet down. That will make the ball movement go quicker as well. You're pressing all the intestine to get all the, all the fishes right down to the bottom. Last of the list, put your hand there, breathe in, and you go down, you breathe out. If still you are getting full pressure, then put your hand up like this and do a circular motion, clockwise. That will get the ball movement faster. Once you do that, then you do this. Everything pops right, and then you do the opposite. Other way, and the clockwise, and you do the same thing other side. And that will get us all the all the features from your body. Stomach will complete like a. It's so much you can. We are not the same. Who's the pain on us? The pain should be nice and soft. If it's hard, that means you're bloated. You need people with IBS. They might have to because of the problem that will bath them twice. But usually the pace will be nice and jelly. Pate under, bimari, bahar. If the stomach is in, all the illness is out. If the stomach is out, then bimari under. So you have to be really, this is very important. I was focusing more on that today about digestive system and the excretory system. If you do those two things, your body will become healthier. You'll feel lighter. Good motion is like a promotion. Isn't it? The Buddha didn't mana hulka ratta. Then you can eat it. Khati ho jine ke liye, jite ho khane ke liye. Try to eat, also do intimate fasting. Raat ko shosat de jivat khane ke baad, raat ko kuch mat khao until next morning. That itself will able to fight infection, get rid of dead cell, remove all the toxins from body and everything else. Highly clean body, highly. 
इम्यून बढ़े जितना आपका देह साफ रहेगा अंदर से उतनी आपकी इम्यूनिटी बढ़ेगी तो कोई भी बीमारी आपको नहीं होगा कोई भी एलर्जी नहीं होगा एलर्जी इज लैक ऑफ लैक ऑफ एनर्जी एलर्जी होता क्या है कैन यू वी सेट स्पेंड मी अगेन व्हाट इज एलर्जी एलर्जी है क्या हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी व्हाट इज एलर्जी Don't you be frightened? What do you think? Allergy? Just plain, try to explain to me your own words. Allergy? Um, it's something you are allergic to. Different kind of allergies. Okay, that's 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 what happened. How? Why did it happen? Do, How does allergy happen? Why? Why do not to be? I think the main yeah. thing is the food. Okay, let me explain to you again. Just uh, what you're saying is right, but there's a reason behind it. Allergy is uh, is like a autoimmune disease. Your immune system immune is trying system. to protect you. Yeah. Something doesn't know something which is good for you. It start attacking it. So every like milk is good for me. If I drink milk, say for if I'm allergic to milk, my immune system is start attacking the milk, and I'll have an allergic reaction like a skin diarrhea, loose motion, a sweating or pimples. Everything thing different. Everybody affect differently. So that's what the, that's what that allergy is. Does that make sense? So it could be food, could be some food, and sometimes happen genetically due to the family history. But sometimes happen to lifestyle. But usually it's down to your immune system. Immune system is like autoimmune disease. It doesn't know what's good for you, what's bad for you, and start attacking the good thing, which is good for you, and 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 cause the reaction in the body, and that's where allergy is. I hope you all are clear on that. No, no. No doubt on that. All the style of allergies. Yes. So really, how do you improve allergy? If you have allergy, I can guarantee if you do the anulom bilom for half an hour daily, it within a month you will see the difference. What happens is anulom bilom and pranayam will teach brain which is right, which is wrong. But the brain is going wrong. Where the immune system is going wrong, it will correct it, and the allergy will go away. Does that make sense? Nothing else will fix it. It's your mind thought. Your your mind is corrupt. It's not coming. Not not your mind is corrupt. But your immune system is kind of attacking cells. We soon be attacking. You have to teach a lesson. Only we can do that is bring the body in balance by doing bastika, kapalbhati, alom, all these things. Pranayam will help you. Nothing no nothing else will help. You need to do pranayam, pranayam, pranayam. That itself will. Fix your allergic reaction. Does that make sense? And also, allergic reaction usually tend to be sinus problem. Usually affects mostly people with sinus. So for sinus, we take your glasses off. First, you take your index finger, rub the uh, your duct, a uh, tear duct, just in the corner there, facing it, and then also with finger, rub over your sinus point there. Now the nose. I think Dr. Kapoor did that as well early on. And then if you press this point, just below the nose, hold it for 30 seconds, and breathe in and that will clear your dark ear duct as well. Need needle pass will clear. And then this point under the nose. All these are getting rid of lymph fluid to the face, and then you're under the chin, and under the ear. Rub the ear like this, up and down. And then the V shape, biggest nerve behind the thigh bone, your body system. And then you're doing your thumb. Limp fluid on the face is just on the surface. You don't have to press hard. Just gently stick your cross. Under the eyes. Your cheeks. Everything over the ear. Back to the ear, back of the neck. Down the throat. Into your drainage channel. Excellent. That itself will improve the allergic reaction. 
And also I'm doing I'm doing a BCS and I'm working out on the acupressure points with allergic reaction and all that as well, which I will do later on. Time is gone now, it's very limited. Hopefully you enjoy the class. Now I'll take the class to finishing now by doing Brahmi with Keith and Pradap. Take your thumb to close your earlobe, index finger on your forehead, and tongue can kiss your mudra. Take a make a sound of bumblebee for three times. Mm. Mm. Still keeping your eyes closed in Gyan Mudra. We chant Om for three times. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Oh. Still keeping your eyes closed for 30 seconds with your pranam, which is silent, deep breathing, focusing on your third eye and your kitchen mudra for 30 seconds. It's part of our quick meditation to activate the parasympathetic nerve system body goes in state of relaxation. Gently take your both hand up in there, rub them together. Well done everyone, well done. May, may all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om Shanti Shanti. Somebody asked me to do the, my mantra, Sujika. Om Mahadev Shri Shankar Shambhu, Uma Kanta Sipurare, Mitrunjaya Vichpavad Vasulin, Ganga Gar Midmanare, Harshi Shankar Gaurisham, one day Ganga Dharmisham, Rudram Pasupati Misanam, Kalekasi Puri Natham, Jai Sambo, Jai Sambo, Sri Gauri Shankar Jai Shambo, Om Shyam Sadasudai, Amrit Rudrai, Parvati Pran Balbai, Namo Nama, Har 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 Mahadev, Jai Shambo. Let's roll like a lion, promoting health, just in Vajrasan or sitting anywhere at all, take a tongue out and go. Ah! 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 And the side the throat. And the best for me is to say the laughter before we do that. Let's clap your bum ten times. Ah! Ah! Then your thighs. Then your knee. Then your calf muscle. I'll say your pain. Love. And then the inside. And the best of all. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Hope Thank you had you. a Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you, Sharonji. Thank you.